to the Imran Khan case and the PTI funding case. Uh, let's try and understand just because Imran Khan is in a spot of bother. The non-bailable warrant against him uh, has been upheld. How did this entire case begin? Ex-PTI member filed this plea with the Election Commission back in 2014. Uh, the member had alleged irregularities in party funds. Money received from foreign nations was the allegation and the alleged money came via illegal sources. The Election Commission of Pakistan set up a panel and the ECP formed a scrutiny committee. The panel submitted its final report in 2020. The PTI informed about 12 bank accounts. The PTI hid information about 53 bank accounts. Donations of 32 million had not been disclosed. The Election Commission of Pakistan sought a report and the ECP declared PTI had received prohibited funds. A show cause notice had been issued and the ECP has sought answers. Now, why the funds should not be confiscated is a question that was also asked. Then, there are multiple cases in this matter. So, Imran Khan is facing non-bailable warrants. Another matter is the Tosha Khana case. So, what is Tosha Khana? Tosha Khana is a government department under the cabinet division. The state depository keeps gifts given to park officials. Only the President and the Prime Minister are actually exempt from receiving such gifts. So what's the charge? Now the condition is that if a gift costs less than 30,000 rupees, the President or Prime Minister can keep the gifts. Anything above that money, when I say 30,000 rupees, it's Pakistani rupees. Anything more expensive, the gifts must be kept in the Tosha Khana by law in Pakistan. So now what has happened? Rolex watches worth 5.3 million Pakistani rupees. A graph watch from the Saudi Crown Prince worth 85 million Pakistani rupees. Cufflinks worth 5.67 million Pakistani rupees. A pen worth 1.5 million Pakistani rupees. A ring worth 8.7 million Pakistani rupees. All of these, the allegation is, have been sold by Imran Khan. He's taken it out of the Tosha Khana, sold it and pocketed the riches, the money. That's the allegation. So two very serious cases on which Imran Khan now finds his non-bailable warrants upheld. Now there was huge tamasha outside Imran Khan's residence through last evening, late last night, through, through, through the day, where thousands of his followers came out and surrounded and virtually made it a fort which the police just could not impregnate or get in. The police said we didn't go there to arrest him, we went to serve him a notice. But they had to go back given the sea of humanity that was there, the support that Imran Khan had drummed up. Reports also suggest, and News 18 has learned, that Imran Khan actually quietly gave the cops a slip and got out of that house to try and avoid arrest. He moved the Lahore High Court, trying to seek pre-arrest bail or anticipatory bail. But so far, it has not helped him, helped his cause. The cops so far have said, we are not there with the intent to arrest him, but we just want to serve a notice to him. But many believe it's just a matter of time. It is just a matter of time that, that Imran Khan will have to now be arrested. And if he's arrested, there is going to be a big tailspin and, of course, huge political turmoil, huge, huge political turmoil that will happen.